what's up Wagwan? um yeah so today tonight this evening <laughs> i am we're coming to you as live as hell right now um it's the best thing i could do right now at the moment so um I just kind of wanted to vent a little bit and as well as show what happens when I go through my little random rant thought processes. You talk about live and direct. This is live and direct. So today is Wednesday of the week that we're in, in the month of September. And um, it's been a long week for it to be a Wednesday. For it to be a Wednesday, this has been a hell of a long week. And, um, hmm, I don't even know, I don't even have the words <laughs> to express truly what's on my mind. But I don't even know what's on my mind completely outside of what I'm going to discuss with you. So, I came to a conclusion about something that I have invested a lot into not just invested financially, but I invested time-wise. And um, I have my reasons of why. I literally got up out of the bed <laughs> to record this because we talk about life, the realness and rawness of it all, the highs and the lows, Sometimes you got to make sure that you're sharing all sides of it if you're going to consider it about life, you know. Nothing is ever just gold and perfect. It doesn't work that way. So, um, hmm, here we go. I feel like I did explain this in another video of mine, and I apologize for changing positions and stuff, but, um, I had been studying for my CPC exam so that I can go ahead and take my certified professional coding exam and become, yeah, certified with it, in it with a CPC. Now, I did schooling. My schooling was about two, I finished it in about two and a half years. Um, I paid that out of pocket, like, I paid that out of pocket. Sometimes I amaze myself when I think about that. I never would have imagined to be able to do that, but I did that. I did that. Um, I had been investing in the books, the actual coding books, so that I can see now, so far, I only purchased the years 20, well, actually with my schooling, the year 2020 was included in it. And then by the time 2021 came along, we had a whole heap of new updates, including um, the, you know, the pandemic situation that we went through. All of that was included in the 2021 books. But then I was like, Sh you know, that I'm not taking my exam in 2021. So it didn't really deem me necessary to purchase my books physically in 2021. I just kind of um, just looked for whatever different types of updates and stuff that I could find. Went through YouTube tutorials as well as other websites. The information that was on the AAPC website because I had signed up for a membership that you have to pay for. There's everything that you do, you have to pay for it. I'm not speaking on this video to like down talk being at the AAPC or anything. Me personally, it was a wonderful, all of those tools that the AAPC provided were extremely helpful. Um, and you receive some wonderful benefits that come along with whatever you pay for. It's just that it's a dedicated and committed field. It really is. Um, I don't want to make this video all about AAPC. 
or coding. It's about me personally, but I know there are people that have been interested in it, have expressed interest to me. I don't know if those people necessarily watch my videos on here, but whatever, none, nonetheless. Um, yeah, I like I can show you. You have three books automatically that you are required to have. So you have your CPT manual. Right? So like you see, it says 2022. Your HCPCS or Hicks Picks. This one isn't as thick as the others or heavy. It's heavy, but it's not as heavy as <laughs> And then you have your main, main, ma'am, bam, thank you, ma'am, your ICD-10 CM manual. You need to like your Bibles for your coding. So you have to have those for each calendar year. Um, whew, I don't even know where to begin. I feel so scattered, but like I said, I made up my mind. And I'm going to get to my decision in a minute. <laughs> Anywho, so I went through my schooling, went through training. Um, I had one of my friends that was assisting me with anatomy. Another one of my friends was assisting me with medical terminology. I'm grateful. You know what I mean? I'm very grateful. I was learning about the cost and reimbursement. That was something I was doing on my own plus being able to see real life examples about what that you know was included inclusive in that process dealing with the different insurance it's like i mean you deal with a lot of different things there's a lot of moving parts when it comes to studying for that exam in general plus getting a better understanding of what this is about so i'm appreciative of it i am um, I had to think about it because, so say for example, with you finish your exam, not finish your exam, I can't even think, I'm sorry. You finish your schooling, and then your schooling, they will help you or assist you with getting prepared for your exam but you have to take it in a certain amount of time like i said the books for the exam are only good for that calendar year that you take it so i knew with 2021 rolling around and all of the different things that had took in place and were put into that 2021 book that weren't completed in time to go into 2020 I know I needed extra study and time to kind of take a grasp on to some of the things that I knew for sure were going to be included in that new round, right? So 2021 was off the map for me to take the exam. Now, I did kind of prolong it for 2022. I was like, okay, it got to the point where I felt like I would be ready to take it and I actually scheduled it. In December of 2021 to hold myself accountable to taking it in November 2022 not November what month are we in September 2022 well one I had to read through what I had actually purchased on the website my membership um, which is coming up soon for renewal as well Plus the fact that we are already in September. October is pretty much um, spoken for, I guess you could say. Plus I'm trying not to weigh myself down too much with too much because I'm getting prepared for this wedding in December. So, <laughs> the next exam in Las Vegas or even Reno is scheduled for December. I'm getting married in December. That's not going to work. Right. So. We have to go ahead and. Um, basically, I had to forfeit it. So, I'm not. My exam is supposed to be Saturday. 
this Saturday. Today's Wednesday. It's not going to work. <laughs> no. So I canceled it. I canceled it. Um, reasons behind me canceling it is because also I thought I can have another chance to do the exam in 2023 and just have the $100 penalty because I scheduled it in December 2021 my exam my exam voucher is only good for one calendar year after the date of purchase So December 2022 would have been the last that I could take it. I can go to another state and take it. However, that's still more money. And um, then my membership renewing it. And plus, like I said, 2023, I have to get new books. It's not worth it. <laughs> and we're talking about just worth yeah, about a thousand dollars just to it's a thousand and maybe some change actually just to take the exam that's not counting membership and travel and everything else it's not worth it it's not worth it so um i'm as of today i'm no longer going to go for the cpc i I had already been telling myself that there were other things that I can, you know, other avenues that I can get into. Plus, that's the whole point of all of this learning. Learning different components of the medical field or whatever the case is. Just so I can make sure I sustain my um, living in, in my new home. So. I will keep it posted on maybe what new developments or something that I get into whenever I do. And then, oh yeah, then I forgot to add to the mix. Even with the coding, regardless, I was seeing the um, PC requirements, like required, what is it called? Yeah, PC platform requirements for a lot of the different jobs. It's Windows. I have a Mac. <laughs> it's not going to work. <laughs> I've received a lot of different feedback and advice on things to do to kind of help me with the window situation. But I have to have dual screens most of the time for a lot of the jobs that I actually am going for. And yeah. I have to put my money and investment into other things. So, that's what happened. Welcome to Life of Vani G. I'm going back to bed. <laughs>